Hey everyone, what the heck is a superset? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. Suppose we've got some set represented by this green circle, we'll call this set A. And suppose we've got some other set B, where every element of B is contained within the set A. Then you may recall that we say B is a subset of A, written like this. B is a subset of A, meaning every element in B is also an element of A. In this same situation, we can say that A is a superset of B, written the same way as the subset relation, but in the opposite direction. A is a superset of B. This means that A contains every element of B. So the superset relation is the same as the subset relation, but in the opposite direction. If B is a subset of A, then A is a superset of B. It's very similar to the relation less than. For example, 1 is less than 5. We can write it like that. But we could also read this as 5 is greater than 1, which we could also write this way. But these two expressions mean the exact same thing. It's the same deal over here with subsets and supersets. B is a subset of A means that every element of B is also an element of A. A is a superset of B means that A contains every element of B. These mean the exact same thing. So how about a quick example? Let the set S be the set containing, we'll say, 7, 8, and 9. And we'll say the set Q contains the elements 8 and 9. Then, of course, we could write that Q is a subset of S because every element of Q is also an element of S. But we could also say, or write, that S is a superset of Q, because S contains every element of Q. If we wanted to represent these sets with a Venn diagram, we could write this is S here, and this is Q, and the elements 8 and 9 are in Q, and of course they're also in S, and then the element 7, that's in S, but it's not in Q. So Q is a subset of S, all of its elements belong to S. Equivalently, S is a superset of Q, it contains every element of Q. And that's all that is meant by a superset. It's the same as the subset relation, but in the opposite direction. If you prefer a well-written definition, let's take a look. Let A and B be sets. If every element of B is also an element of A, then B is a subset of A written like that. And in this same situation, we could say that A is a superset of B written like that. You might recall that the empty set is a subset of every set. So we could also say that every set is a superset of the empty set. So that's a nice fun fact. Now, how about a practice problem to try on your own? Here are four sets. Give me in the comments three examples of supersets among these four sets. I'll leave the solution in the description. So I hope this video helped you understand what supersets are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And remember, if we write that Q is a subset of S, Q is the subset, and we call S a superset. All right, see you next time. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. I'm the side with the stars